Yeah, I think that's a oh. singer from Missing Persons. Do you love me? <laughs> Do you care? You know what's amazing? One is like, how the fuck did that song get famous? And two, Terry Bozio is the fucking drummer. Of that is she band. serious? Yeah, dude. I think that's his wife. So he likes the singer. Is he like sleeping when they were recording? Seriously, like, like yeah. I fucking watched a couple of their videos the other day just because I had that song stuck in my head, and I was like, oh, dude. Dude, you I ever notice how that song just gets stuck in your head for like days at a time? Yeah, that's what I'm going through right now. And it I need a support better. group for fucking <laughs> missing yeah. person yeah. support group. Oh, it's great. You should go watch some of the videos. The guitar player, he's playing like three notes, and he's just like. So into it, it's amazing. Yeah. God damn it, stop with that whip thing. He was like, I'm tired of this Frank Zappa shit. Better start playing some goddamn new wave. Right? We gotta challenge, you know, and reach out to new directions. <laughs> you start playing shit like Zappa, dude, you're like, well, that's, uh. Been there, done that shit. Yeah, been there, done that, you know. There's... Really, what else does Zappa have to say musically, seriously? I'm kind of confused by this, like, you're kind of in space, but in a tree, and she's, like, a plant lady, except she has, like, metal and laser guns. She's, like, she's kind of like a, like, like she belongs on the cover of a heavy metal magazine, you know? <laughs> like a decibel magazine from the 80s or no, something? No, like, like the like magazine that? Heavy Metal. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's, like, some scantily clad semi-alien chick who probably gonna kill you. So don't fucking dare. There will be a sprout whip. We almost die. There. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, big suppository time. So, like, does every level just have increasingly more uh, bosses? Like, the next one's gonna have four fucking bosses? Ooh. Whoa. You're like a frog knight? It's Gumby. <laughs> <laughs> he turned into fucking superhero Gumby. Holy shit. Great yeah. and Safari, and we are on level three. That doesn't happen every day. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Dude, is this the train of consequences? <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk, you talk about Metallica. Is this a like fuck on the side of the train? Whoa. Yeah, dude. You have a fucking boss already. Praying Mantis Grim Reaper. I only fought one thing. Dude, it's the, the fucking Praying Mantis guys from Sonic 2. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> fuck those things. <laughs> God damn it. Fuck. I'm tired of these polyp monkeys. <laughs> polyp monkeys. They're not monkeys. I'm sorry. Yeah, if there's any monkeys watching right now, we, we apologize. Oh, oh wow. Dude, that that's... is the trade of consequences. All right. Well, that sucks. We're getting all the controls. You play for long enough that I'm like, <laughs> uh, what are we doing? This is yet another one of these games where it's like, well, Jeff tried. <laughs> I get an A for that thing. That's like a Roomba Cthulhu. <laughs> God damn it, dude! That thing fucked me up. Holy shit, dude! The Cthulhu, like the Cthulhu Roomba, does not fuck around. Apparently, Great American well, Safari is brought to you by Cthulhu Roomba. Did you ever try and do one of those games where, you, uh, dude, I'm gonna do a perfect playthrough? And it's no. like, and then you get hit on like, the first <laughs> level, and you're like, this is bullshit, right? Which I'm sure, that, if, uh, if anybody's watching the Castlevania episodes right now, you'll see my fucking awesome ass no hit speed run playthrough of that game. Dude, if you could double jump in there, real life, yeah. wouldn't you? Oh yeah, all the time. You just I would never not double jump. Plus if the physics worked the same way, you could just double jump right before you hit the ground, so you wouldn't even need a parachute <laughs> and just jump out of a plane. But of course, you know, you'd get too excited and you'd accidentately waste your double jump before you even you Yeah, right. Out of the plane. You'd be like, "Double jump out of the Shit, I needed that." <laughs> Woo! Oh fuck. I am train of consequences. Whoa! What is that? Dude, that's the aborted fucking chicken from Eraserhead. <laughs> was that thing a chicken? It was like a Cornish game hit. Oh. Oh dear. Or something. A little baby. No, chicken. no! Oh, There's a see? suppository for me right up there. I needed that. <laughs> My asshole was lonely. Cool spot. People like drinking soda, right? <laughs> if you haven't watched the cool spot video, it kinda kinda sucks. It was early in our evolutionary stages. Yeah, I mean, what, all of six months ago? <laughs> yeah, dude. Great Market Safari is legit. We go back. Dude, we're old school. We were doing YouTube videos before people started mass flagging videos and got points for it. <laughs> There's a long string of, uh... Of uh, years where I was just too lazy to get a costume, all the so... Way back here? I just had, like, conceptual... Seriously? Costumes. Right. And so, like, I would just go as... And be like, what, what are you? And I'm like, lonely... 
<laughs> That's sad, Jeff. Yeah. I wasn't a happy child. Especially when they didn't give you candy. Like, no, that's not a costume. Well, I think I was, like, probably, like, 18 at the time. But, you know. And then they definitely don't give you candy. They're like, get off my property. And they're like, that's weird. Stop looking in my window. Kind of a little, little creepy. Who's your favorite historical or fictitious pedophile? <laughs> Oh, uh, pick up your own Cthulhu Roomba at fuzzygrave.com. 